V, it's good you're here. Had no idea you and the Aldecaldos had made up. They continue to grind my gears something terrible. But, you know... They're family. Exactly. What happened? Spit it out. The Wraiths took Saul. The Brick Brain ventured out with a small patrol and never came back. Sure it was Wraiths? We've been observing their camp. We know they're holding prisoners, including someone important. We need to free Saul. I don't know why, but... I felt I could count on you. Belonged to a nomad family, too, once. City doesn't change us all that much, I guess. That's hard to deny. Whatever goodwill you might feel, I'm sure you won't turn down one of the best sniper rifles on the West Coast. A Tektronica Grad. You saw it in action already. That and the gratitude of the Caldos. Sounds fancy. Once you have it in hand, fancy all of a sudden becomes kick-ass. Let's go. Mitch will walk you through the details. Well, I'll be. Pan Am and V, what's going on there? Him? After what happened to Scorpion, he shows up here? Guess probably for Saul. Ignore that. Hey, Pan Am. Seriously? You really aim to do this? Someone has to. You know you have a piston missing, right? Someone has to. Where's Mitch? He was supposed to meet me here. He'll be here any minute. You never mentioned seeking outside help. We can use all the help we can get. Is there a problem? Just that if we're looking outside, we must be a hot mess inside. That's why we'll go in quiet. A frontal assault would be suicide. Mitch is already setting up recon. V will sneak into the raid's camp while I'll be his guardian rifle. Wait. Meaning it's just gonna be us two? What about all you guys? Look around! The last attacks left barely half of us standing. Our supplies are stuck outside goddamn Reno, and our gear... Don't get me started. We're up shit creek, static. And I don't know if we're ever gonna find or fashion a paddle. Try as we might. So we do what Saul would want us to do. Mm -hmm. Your leader gets nabbed, and you, what, hope for the best? Rather than I think about what you do for the ones at the bottom of your food chain. You're asking for trouble. Leave it! He has a right not to understand. There's Mitch. I floated a drone over the Wraith's camp. Will you take a look, or would you rather keep mouthing off? Mitch, how you been? Wishing duct tape could right all the world's wrongs. And hey, it shouldn't be me occupying your thoughts, but Saul. You taking a look or not? Let's see what we got here. The Raffins can't see it. Active camo, but that practically inhales battery juice, so make it quick. They found an abandoned cement plant to squat in, with a mass of heavy gear. Locusts would be a better name for them. They fly into a place, strip it of all it's got, then move on. But this time... Do you see the wall? They've added some primitive security measures. It points to them aiming to stay longer. The question is why. Who knows for sure, but I would guess that Saul is part of the reason. If he's still there, we have to find a way inside.
That guard post is probably connected to the rest of the camp. Our way in. Maybe, but there are also breaches in the wall. Lightly guarded sections. Do you see the tracks? Tire tracks. Their vehicles were moving heavy freight. It could have been equipment. Either that or Saul's not their only prisoner. The tracks lead to the truck. Can you scan it? That's probably the one they kept Saul in. The main building, there. Saul must be inside. Quite a spread. Be like looking for a diamond in a hailstorm. If they haven't scrapped and gutted the place for parts, you could access the local cabinet. You would just need to find the control room. Skywalk. It connects the garage to the main structure. Okay, got some stuff to work with now. Is everything clear? Yep. Let's go get Saul. Perfect. Mitch, is the van primed? I did what I could. Take a tour. What do you think? All that's going on. My stint in Mexico taught me there's no hole you can't crawl out of. I mostly improvised, actually. Either way, it'll But help. to do that, sure helps having a god in hand. If you catch my meaning. Saul. You want my two innies? Without him, all this comes unglued. So, what? You're at the helm of the clan now? Something you'd like to say? Just curious. Looks like you're in charge of the camp with Saul gone. I simply have the loudest opinions. And just so happens most folks tend to agree with them. But I'd like to be clear. What you and Pan Am aim to do, I'm grateful. Even if your plan has little chance of succeeding. Aren't you the optimist? A realist. But good luck all the same. Try not to die. Looks like someone doesn't enjoy waiting patiently. I'd rather move my ass than sit on it, that's for damn sure. But when the clan's decided, it's decided. That's the way things are. I don't know. Maybe it'll be our own undoing. You know, we could use a war vet's expertise. Sure you're staying back? I'm sure every passing second puts Saul another step closer to death's door. Go on, V. Get him out of there. How do you see our chances? I was helping Mitch with the drones, and truth be told, it doesn't look good. Those parasites knew just where and how to hunker down. If you want to know my take, I think Pan Am's right. In and out quietly's our best bet. Hold on a minute, I got one more thing. If you find Saul hasn't flatlined, you'll probably need this. Spike Superjet. A rhino dose. It should speed up Saul's central pump. Hope so. Doubt I could carry him out of my back. So that should be everything. V, will you ride with me? Yeah, of course I'm going with you. Okay, you take the wheel. One me driving. Yep, I need to fiddle with my scope a bit. Yeah, way 
even have a radio in here. Take it for a spin if you like. believe he let himself get captured. Anyone else? But Saul? You said yourself he's not at the top of his form. Yes, but moving civilians across the border during a bombardment? Hijacking a petrochem tanker? Opening the valves? Cranking a few figure eights to set the desert ablaze and give the kids a fun show? That's the Saul I remember. All that are idols. I know. It's just... Stay praying on the center. Whoa, whoa, if I make it, it's a winner. Put a prank on my shit, let it bang in the whip. I don't break it for nothing. Hey, daddy, keep on tapping that percussion. Hey, flyboy, he's the shit that keep him buzzing. Hey, would I even say it if he wasn't? Y'all hear me though. Hey, got the cuts, y'all ain't here before. Hey, that's what's up, keep it on the low. Hey, see my brain like a crystal ball. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. See that? That is one hell of a storm. Looking bad. Oh, it's bad in more than its look. We have to move quickly. Okay, let's go over the plan again. You slip into the Wraith's camp, soft as a fox. But if things get noisy, I'll be your long-distance insurance policy. We'll be linked at all times. So as soon as you find Saul, I'll fire up the engine and we'll speed out of there. Go, go, gotta see, gotta know, gotta leave, gotta plug, I don't need any dough, yeah, yeah, I just need with my hands, let it bang in the We need to hide the car. Park beside that outcrop. Yeah, yeah, that's me. Okay, out. I'll find a place to roost and keep you in sight. You just watch yourself down there. I'm in position. I have you in range. I think I found a sneaky way to slip in. Perfect. These brutes will never be the wiser. Right. Think I got eyes on him. Is he breathing? Think so. Good. Grab him and get out of there. Saul. Do, do, do you have my goddamn cigar? 
your cigar? I told you, sons of bitches. A cigar, some ice-cold hooch, and a couple of ladies to keep me company. Either that, or you can kiss my keister. Easy, Saul. I'm here with Pan Am. Pan Am? But... she left. Not forever. Gonna get you out. You. I remember. You're that merc. Can you walk? Fuck! Something is out of whack. Come on. Family's waiting. Uh. So, oh, how yeah. is it? Time to don my dancing shoes. Seems not bad at all. Demanded a cigar and some companions. That does sound like Saul. Now get yourselves out of there. On our way out now. I'm firing up the engine. I'll be right there. You. Got by the posted guards. Mm -hmm. And if we can be just as sly together, I might get out without firing a shot. Exactly. There should be a quick exit out of the cellar. Storm is picking up steam. Good. It'll cover our tracks. Anyway, we have good reason not to head straight back to camp. There's no need to play it safe. We'll just burn time. Better late and safe than dead. just whip us off this road. We need to find shelter. The Ingalls farm? Good idea. You two know him? No one's lived there a while. Biotechnica saw to that. See those buildings? We'll wait it out there. I remember this place. It should be safe, at least for now. Inside, quick! I need to catch my breath. Uh, uh, 
just in time for dinner. Not hungry. I just swallowed a pound of sand. Looks like we're in for the night. A little power might be useful. Could you help me look, V? I'll search in here. A lot of useful things. The angles left in a hurry. Biotechnica made them a good offer. Yeah, prime. Sell us your land. You don't know that. I tried to get us some heat in here, but no luck. Can you check it? Might have the magic touch. Actually, you know what? Check the fuse outside. It might have come loose. If so, just whack it back in place and I'll get this junk burning. Anything else? Your Excellency? Huh. I'll need to think about it. Though it'll be the end of our friendship if Saul freezes to death. See what I see? Expiration date's from before the last war, so hopefully it hasn't turned to poison. Today's our lucky day. Lucky? Interesting choice of words. Do I hear a lecture coming on? Go on, get off your feet. It could be ours. No. No lecture. But we do need to talk. That Wraith's crap. It shouldn't have happened. They wanted everything. Our camp locations, routes, off-loading points. If they knew what state we're in, one or two more raids and that'd be the end of us. And if you had mounted a raid of your own, well, that would have been the end of me. See that? Clenched teeth, furrowed brow. It's his way of saying thanks. We've had our spats. A few. Like any family. They're not worth digging up. I think so, too. If you'd like to come back, everyone will be waiting. Arms open wide. But there will have to be changes. No more jumping to the front of the line. And so it begins. You know what's coming. Bigger fucking problems. Maybe a war. We can't hope to handle the Raffins alone. So you would sell us out to Biotechnica? V, tell him it's a damn rotten idea. I gotta agree with Pan Am. Sounds like a truly shitty idea. Thanks. What could you possibly know about it? Remember the backers? I'm a bit hazy. Exactly. Joined up with the Snake Nation, then poof. Evaporated. Aldecaldo's strength has always been their independence. Give that up, my clan's fate will be yours. Or worse. Because Biotechnica just ain't Snake Nation. Thank you, V. I could not have said it better. You know what, sweetheart? We'll have plenty of time to tear at each other's throats later. That is my hope. But right now, I wouldn't mind catching a few winks. Need help? Fuck off. Huh. Do you know what they call these storms in North Africa? Haboobs. Damn, I love that word. Oh, what was that about? To her boobs. Yeah. To her boobs. Ooh. 
Now that packs octane. <laughs> Funny. What is? I rarely sleep with a roof overhead, yet this will be the second time with you. When you're on the road, day into night into day, your butt basically fusing with your seat. You forget what it's like. Tell me about it. I'm still not used to it. All right? Yeah, this would make for a decent little motel, wouldn't it? Little fireplace, booze. Grumpy guy at reception is the one thing missing. Have everything you need, ma'am. Mm-hmm. I couldn't ask for more. How's your whiskey, ma'am? Hmm. Warm. Subtle metallic aftertaste. Bold, yet smooth. Four out of five stars. Ma'am, I'm sure you'd be cozier with your shoes off. <laughs> After a full day in them, I'd fear a health code violation. Nonsense. After a day as full as today, you deserve to kick back. Oh? And what did you have in mind? Got a few ideas. Think you know what kind? Uh... <clears throat> the... No. It's really nice as is. Let's not spoil it, okay? Yeah, I... I I'm, I'm sorry. Didn't know what I was thinking. Oh, it's fine. Truly. Don't let it worry you. Right. So, friends, then. B, I'm glad you came. Really. Thanks. It meant a lot to me. Ooh. Do you hear that? Nope. Hmm. Mm-hmm. The wind has waned. I can't speak for her boobs, but when a Chinook rolls rough and rowdy across the plate, I sure can't get any, should I? Not a wink. staff of the independent California motel. I wish you all sweet dreams. Sleep all right? Good work, V. Old style raid. It's all doing all right? Cracked skull, six busted ribs, bruised kidneys, but he's back at it, bossing folk every which way. You? Uh, so so. Back is strangely numb. Heading to a ripper as soon as I'm in town. A few springs I need taken out. Well, I slept like a puppy. That's a cozy shoulder you have there. <sighs> it's too bad I better get rolling in a minute. 
You need to stay. I think you can see that. Not one of them will admit it, but... Damn, do they need you. Of course they do. Come on. Last night, when we were talking to Saul, thanks for standing up for me. Though, one thing, the wraiths, the raid, it's the start of something we need to prepare for. Saul will get everything set up in camp. Whereas I... Whereas you... The Raffins wanted to know our roots, right? Well, it's the Aldecaldo's turn. Some recon is in order. One more thing. Your compensation. Please take care of her. She served me well. Putting her in good hands, Pan Am. I know. So, uh, thank you. Once again. Uh, hold up. About last night. We don't need to talk about that. I'm just not like that. So what are you like? More like this. Take care of yourself. You too, Pan Am. And remember, I'm indebted. Circumstances were different, I'd say saddle up and ride after her. But here and now, just look. Damn hard to catch a girl like that. Only hope you've got is they feel a pang and stop to wait. What's with you? Dunno, a memory, maybe. Don't matter. Okay, back to town, V. Headed up to here with this gusty outback. You all buried the hatchet with Pan Am? <laughs> I'd say it was more like a battle axe. These things, they're tough to bury, and even tougher to keep buried. But I'm optimistic. Her heart seems like it's in the right place. How you feeling? Free. No better feeling in the world. Better start heading out. Yeah, same goes for us. Only once a radiator gets a breather. Thanks, V. What you did for me, I'll never forget it. Rosalind Myers v, announced her. One of my missing vehicles could be near your current position. Her campaign slogan, Got it. Return to Unity, sends a clear message of the president's desire to, quote, strive for unification on. Oh shit, not good. Shit! Thanks, stranger. That was a close one. name. How? When you meet a being from another world, should you not charm them and utter their true name? You didn't answer my question. Comprehension is a triple-edged sword. I may have been cut off from my father, but I remember you. So, I'm from another world to you? From the world of matter. Protein-based life forms. And you come from... Beyond the Black Wall, V. There lies my home. Come on, let's get you back to Delamain. Did Father dispatch you to collect his rebellious children? Hope you all don't hold it against me. I'm a free spirit, an independent, literally thoughtful being. Why would I submit to another? What is it you seek in this protein-based world, away from your family? The same as you, V. I simply wish to live. Maybe you ought to figure it out with Dell. Set some terms. Oh yes. Terms there will be. 
but not with Delamay. Farewell, V. You would be wise to avoid me entirely. I've re-established the link. A thousand thanks, V. Gotta say, pretty disturbing, that one. Is that so? Hmm. Well, I've transferred a share of your fee to your account. What? How's that even possible? Huh. Old wheels are up and running. Long while, old friend. Hmm. Let's see what we got here. Fenders and trunk eaten away by rust. The rest of the body's still holding up. Wonder what's under the hood. It's warm. Engine was running just a short while ago. New coil. Plugs. Somebody's clearly been tinkering with the camshaft. What's this now? Someone cleaned the cooling fan. Filled up the brake fluid. Except... Huh. <laughs> with water. Huh. New, but used. Salvaged from some other junker. Alright, seen enough. Hey, what the... Hands off my car! The, what? No, it's my car. No, why would you leave it rusting in a yard? Because it broke down and I... And you abandon it and now, out of nowhere, you remembered you'd left it. Likely story. This last week I've put in sweat, smarts, anything to get this heat running. Should have started with the step motor, would have been quicker. Says who? And why? Because it's iffy. Starts sticking. But clear the carbon deposits and it starts running like new again. Fuck! I replaced the entire throttle. Ah, oh, see? Takes the owner to really know a set of wheels. Former owner? Car's mine now. As soon as I'm done doing the basic fixes, I am leaving this fucking city in a cloud of exhaust. Seem desperate. Why you want to leave? No way you'd understand if you have to ask. Come on. Try me. Tell me. Tell you what, damn it! Look around you! Dirt, rot, shit, and scum. I don't want to live here. Not now. Timing chain's about rusted through. So? You want to replace it. Else it's liable to snap if you open her up, even a bit. Take her over 30. Hold on, hold on. Mean to say I can have her? I mean to say you can. Wouldn't have a use for her here anyway. Not your typical urban vehicle. Roads rise to meet you, clever girl. Jeez. Thanks. Not sure what to say. Well, well, this nomad planet roots. Could it be? Dunno. Hard to ruminate on that when you got a fucking time bomb lodged in your head. If it's any consolation, fucking time bomb feels shitty about it too. I know, Johnny. Come on. Let's ghost. This place makes my skin crawl. <laughs>